Hey folks, thank you for tuning in to the Believe It Show where Believe It. If I can get to this day with a big smile on my face and true personal independence, just a baby step away. Well, Believe It, so can you. Today is Monday, March 16, 2020. I am broadcasting from the south side of Jacksonville. Just a little bit of sexy. And I gotta tell you folks, our facility is being locked down. We are quarantined to our rooms. This virus is serious. And we're taking it seriously. Although, respectfully, we're having as much fun as possible. And we're doing this with a good attitude and a smile on our faces. There's no reason to be upset. Folks, we're going to get through this. We're all adults and we're going to treat this with very respectful gloves. Now, i got to tell you that I have been working out today. I did 120 squats. I did a bunch of marches, about 100 marches. And I did a new uh, exercise that I've been working with that I put my toes and my heels together. So my feet are very close together. And then I'll look over my right shoulder and over my left shoulder for two minutes with my eyes open. And then I'll look at the ceiling and to the floor for two minutes. And then I'll repeat those uh, procedures with my eyes closed. When you do this, make sure that you're holding something so you do not fall because you will lose your balance. This is a great exercise that will strengthen your balancing muscles. Okay, and now I'm also going to, after this video, I'm going to walk with my walker up and down the hallways, which I can leave my room to do that as long as I'm just working out. They don't care. They don't want us to socialize, you know, hanging out, talking, because that's how you catch this virus, so that's okay. Now, I want to review the eight steps to stroke recovery with you. The first step is to have a plan, to have a, some goals. Now, folks, we don't fail to plan. Or we don't plan to fail, we fail to plan. And if you have a plan, it's always very smart. So please, have a plan of goals. The second step is to write your goals and plan down. Put that down. And when, you, when you do that, it will commit to memory a lot better. And, you know, writing down, that will mean that... Uh, You'll be able to see what you're going to do. Number three is try to surpass each one of your goals. I would suggest start out with small goals so that you can easily surpass them. Every day you want to do it just a little bit more and understand that you have to just, just give it all you have to do a little bit more. Number four is have fun. Do something that is going to uh, be enjoyable for you, like dancing or singing while you're doing your exercises. Something that will... Give it, like, a little bit of spice to it. Make it more interesting. You'll find that you want to do those exercises a lot more. Uh, number f five is memorize something. I find this is really good 
for your mind to memorize something, a song perhaps, memorize a poem, memorize some phone numbers. Now what I did is I memorized these eight steps to a stroke recovery. <laughs> and believe me, it's been difficult. This is my fifth take. So hopefully, I'll be able to get through this video and get it up, uploaded to YouTube for you. <laughs> now, number six is proper nutrition and hydration. Okay, there are some great items that you can eat. Fruits, vegetables, meats. Uh, in, the, in the fruit category, I would suggest blueberries or anything with the word berry in it. It is good for your brain. Strawberries, blueberries, raspberries, blackberries, any kind of berry. Pomegranates are another fruit that is hard to find but a great food for the brain. Avocado is another item. This is considered a fruit, but it's it's a good vegetable as well. I, I use it either way. And it's very good for your brain. Uh, vegetables, broccoli is good for your brain. And uh, carrots, any kind of green. Not so much for your brain, but just a good, healthy vegetable, high water content, and vitamin K. If you have thin, if you need to have thin blood due to, uh, uh, due to your stroke, then be careful how much greens that you do intake because it will thicken your blood up. Also. Another vegetable that I like to eat is carrots. Very healthy for you. In the meat category, I would suggest eating chicken. What's good for your brain is salmon and Atlantic cod are good foods for your brain. Let's try to stay away from pork and red meats. Uh, another item that's good for your brain is dark chocolate. This is a very popular food and it's very healthy for the brain. Turmeric is an herb that is very healthy for the brain. Rosemary is very healthy for the brain and uh, coconut oil. And you can go on to Google and just type in foods that are healthy for the brain and you're going to come up with a list of items if you can't remember what they are. Oranges is another one. Bananas, oh, those are good uh, fruits and vegetables. Oatmeal, not so much good for the brain but very good at reducing cholesterol and, and a healthy food. Hydrate, drink a lot of water very important. Now seven is to learn that it's okay for you to fail. If you cannot reach the goals that you need to reach, surpass the goals, it's okay. Don't understand this. There's, this isn't a competition, so there's no reason to beat yourself up if you can't make do what you're supposed to do. Just next day, get out there and try it again. When you'll find that you'll get to have success that way. And eight is to get plenty of rest. This will keep your um, your your body charged with energy, and you'll find that when you even when you're working out, to take breaks while you're working out, it's very important to do that. And folks, with that said, I think I had success in recording this video. I usually will be able to get done with just one take. However, today it took me five different takes. 
this video is very important to me, and so are you. I mean, if I can just reach one person out there and make a positive influence on their life, well, I have done my job. And with that said, believe it. If I can get to this day with a big smile on my face and true personal independence just a baby step away, well, believe it, so can you. Thanks for tuning into my show, folks. I will talk with you next time. Bye-bye.